Hello and welcome to Into Wine's Tasting Room. I'm your host, Lisa Colenda. Today we're at Yield, San Francisco's first and only organic wine bar. The tasting theme for today is organic wines under $30. This is a 2004 Chateau Mouzard Cuvée Rouge from the Bicat Valley of Lebanon. Retails for $19. Of course. This is the same grape. Yeah, so this one is actually uh, Carignan, Cinso, and Cabernet Sauvignon. Great. Um, of course, color now becomes important because we're drinking red wines. And um, when I'm looking at color, I'm looking for the depth. And Chardonnay Mouzard tends not to be very deep, even though it's an intense wine. So the color can be deceptive. Decept what I like about the Mouzard is they're not blockbusters to look at. Yeah. And they have it uh, very, you know, looks rather sort of light and uh, agreeable. And I think it's a genius. Well, Serge Hochard, the winemaker, is a genius. He's the most interesting winemaker you'll ever meet. In fact, we'd love to get him onto interwine.com someday. You don't get a this is not a Pinot Noir, this is not a, a Cabernet Sauvignon, it's something quite unique. Yeah. And it's not everybody's, it's not the most fashionable sort of depth of color or strength. I wouldn't say that this is a very setting point, I would say. And uh, I'm I think it's exactly the right. I haven't tasted this particular well, uh, for uh, same bit to the same It's a bit young, isn't it, for Musar? Well, Chateau Musar gets younger as it gets older, basically. But they make three different um, red wines. They make Chateau Musar, which is around the $50 uh, price range. They make this, which is the Cuvée Mouzard, which is around the $20 range. And then they make a third wine called Pochard uh, Perithis, which is around the $25, $26 price point. All very different styles of wine, but all very, very distinctive and unique. And tell us about the Bacar Valley. The Bacar Valley is, um, it's a, a lot of people think it's a very arid area because they, they, they think it's a desert, but actually if you go over the mountains in Syria, you get into the desert. But the Bekar Valley is a very fertile valley between two mountain ranges, and it's been a battlefield basically for the past 13, 40 years, give or take a few. Um, and so it's been extremely difficult for them to make wine. Make, make wine every single year, except one when you couldn't get the grapes through because um, uh, the war conditions were so terrible. He's a great player, actually, isn't he? I mean, really. I mean, the, the, the battles go back 2,000 years. This was the bread basket of Rome. And it's well, very, very flat and very, very broad. But, uh, that's about it. But his in was on the lower slopes. Uh, well, what do you think about this wine, Chris? I think um, the first thing that I get is the earthy qualities of the wine, which is which is great that that's that that's there, um, on the nose and not so much in the palate, which I think is pleasant, especially for this price. Um, people, I mean, we're not we don't want something that's all earthy and obscure for nineteen dollars. I think we want something that we can still find the fruit and it's right there. It's it's the cherries um, is there with kind of a till earthy quality. So I think it's got that complexity. And it's light to medium bodied, so if people like Pinot Noir, this could be something that they could also really enjoy. Yeah, it's a very easy wine to drink, yeah. isn't it? It's a very, very yeah. you know, fruit wine. If I can burst a little, I was the first person to actually write about um, Serge's wine. It was at um, <laughs> a wine exhibition uh, in uh, Bristol, all places. And I thought the best two wines of the whole show uh, were his and I forget who the other was. So I wrote about it in the camp magazine and uh, we've been very good friends ever since. But I think it is original and he's an original. He's actually seriously brilliant and very experimenting all the time. Yeah, Randall Graham from um, uh, Bonnie Doon uh, just 
interrupted his winemaking during vintage to fly all the way from California to New York, where Serge was uh, at the wine experience last week. And he had a meeting with Serge and then flew back that same day. And that Randall Graham is, is probably the most um, incredibly uh, innovative winemakers in, in America. And for him to um, have that much respect to go and want to talk to Serge Hosha, you've got to, um, I think Serge Hosha is probably the greatest philosopher in the wine business. And what they were talking about um, were uh, the concept of the fact that the, the figure seven is so important in the universe um, and that everything is divisible by seven or everything is, you know, the proportions of the face, a beautiful face, it's all to do with seven. And um, so they were thinking about planting a vineyard with seven sides, um, which would theoretically improve airflow and things like that. And, but anyway. I've heard that on the eighth floor of the Merit Marcus, uh, they were in the restaurant and round the table, and they had paper cutouts and all these uh, seven sided seven. things. It was absolutely fascinating. Both, both of them had as hatters, of course. <laughs> Genius <laughs> is it. Mad hatters. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I didn't begin to understand what they were, they were trying to get at. But your comment on the earthy, earthiness of the wine is um, especially uh, relevant to their other wine, the most famous wine, Chateau Musard, uh, which is known for having an enorm enormous amount of earthiness, Britannomyces, and uh, also Volatile City, which gives it a beautiful, refreshing sort of acidity level. But I think, the, I think what's so good about this wine is that you just get a hint of that, and, yes. and that's what makes it pleasant wine. It's much easier. A, it, it, it's a pleasant wine yeah. at the price. Yeah. Um, and also, what's also cool about it is the finish is not too dry, so it doesn't need, I don't think it needs food. It doesn't need food, but I would prefer it. So. Yeah, I mean, with a little bit of cheese, it would be fine, but it's it's not that coin feeling in the back of your mouth. Like, yeah. people associate with, with wines, old world wines. It's a good style. Yeah, it's a nice smoothness to it. And can we find this wine at just any um, distributor? Any good wine shop mm -hmm. uh, should carry Chateau Mouzard. Any great restaurant always has Chateau Mouzard. But, um, for instance, the Wynn, uh, Resort in Las Vegas, the Alec, their top restaurant, have 36 vintages of Chateau Mouzard in their wine list, which is quite amazing. Yeah. Wow. Um, but you know, if you go to a, a, your favorite wine shop, um, you know, Chateau Mouzard is, is available. Any wine shop can uh, can get it. So just ask them to get it for you. Well, there must be something lucky about it if it's at Wynn, especially with all those sevens. This is the <laughs> Chateau Mouzard Cuvée Rouge, 2004 from the Bicot Valley in Lebanon. Retails for $19. Get into wine.com. Thanks.